Oh my gosh, we have babies hatching left and right. We have mad hogs coming out there. More mad hogs there from the same clutch. Hi cutie, you're adorable. We have bull snakes there, blue beauties there, and now we have lavender hog noses. People ask us all the time where they can buy our baby snakes. Well, after going through our waiting lists, any babies we still have available, we now list actually on our Morph Market page. To find them, just download the Morph Market app. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Tap on stores, search for snake discovery, and voila! There you'll find all the babies still available from the hatching videos you've been watching this year. As you can see, we have quite a few bull snakes, as well as some blue beauties, still available from this year's clutches. And even though all the hog noses are sold this year, you'll still be able to find pictures from this year's clutches on there. What you doing? Uh, I'm trying to get photos of baby hog noses, but they don't want their photos taken. Let's see, I bet they're not, I bet they're beautifully behaved. Oh, oh wow, they just kind of <laughs> go everywhere, don't they? And they're trying to go for the holes in the side <laughs> of the, the box. Of course they are. Uh, what is this for, the offspring groups? Yes. Okay, well, you have fun with that. Thank you. I'm gonna get back to my work. All right, sounds good. Morph Market connects breeders with keepers in the largest reptile marketplace in the world. You'll find thousands of reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates for sale with their user-friendly app. Looking for a hognose snake? Just click on the hognose, choose which species you're looking for, and you'll have a list of what's currently available. Then you can even add a filter to search for a specific morph you're looking for. Once you find one you like, tap the inquire to buy and you can send a message directly to the breeder. On our store page, you can also see some of the breeders in our collection as well as the offspring groups that we've produced like I mentioned before. You're already familiar with the animals in our collection from our videos, but this is pretty helpful when viewing a new breeder's collection if you see a snake you like and you want to see what its parents or siblings look like. Morph Market has other services as well. You can discover upcoming events, learn about reptile genetics on Morphpedia, and connect with other reptile lovers in their community forums. Sign up for a free account today by going to morphmarket.com or by downloading the Morph Market app. Then you'll see everything new they have to offer and why we love working with them. And now, let's go see some baby snakes. So yes, Lily, our superconda het lavender, decided to lay a second clutch of just four eggs. And oh, there's one that's out. Fourth egg did not make it, it looks like, but there are three eggs. And Lily, I'll show you her. Lily is a superconda, and she is het lavender, which is how she can throw some beautiful lavender babies. And she was paired with Shaneco, as you may recall. Shaneco is actually a lavender morph, and looks like he's under his half log right now. So with this pairing, each baby has a 50% chance of being lavender, and all of the babies should be conda, meaning they'll have reduced spots. So let's go see what we got. All right, and let's see. Oh, I see a head a head and a baby. So we'll be able to tell colors, but maybe not patterns for the babies in there. We have, oh my gosh, they're all lavender. All three of these babies are lavenders. Oh my goodness. Wow, and you are a beautiful conda. Look at your spots. I don't want to bother you too much. You guys are so cute. I saw that tongue flick. Yes, I did. You're super cute. Oh my gosh, look at this little baby. Hello, little lavender baby. I wonder what kind of conda you'll be. Oh, you are, oh my gosh, you are so cute. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, this never gets old, I tell ya. All right, well, I guess I don't have to cut any eggs because they just have all decided to do it themselves. Rip to the one egg that didn't make it, but we'll get rid of him. And oh my gosh, look at that beautiful conda pattern. Those spots are like split side by side all the way down. You look like a little leopard. Wow, I wonder what you two are gonna look like when you come out. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Okay, we're gonna give him a day to hatch and we'll check back. Okay, wait, I know I, I, know I said I was gonna put him back in the incubator, but then these two suck their heads back in. And then they did this. You look so cute. Hi, little baby. Oh my gosh, you're just your little face is sticking out. Hello. Oh, the little tongue flicks. Okay, okay, now I'm done. Sorry. We'll check in on you tomorrow. Test. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see these babies. We have three more lavenders. Three more? I still can't believe all three of them yeah. are lavender. They can each just, had a 50-50 chance. Can we and talk to all... Lily and just have her do this with all of them? Yeah, maybe we can give her a pep talk and tell her to do this for all of her yeah, eggs. Yeah, just, just as she's creating eggs, just be like, lavender, lavender, <laughs> yes, lavender, yes. lavender. 
Okay, so I haven't seen them out completely yet, other than down. the one. So let's go down here. Let's find the babies where they ended up hiding. They, they do like to hide in that site or in that uh, sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss. Some people uh, had asked previously when I posted a picture of these babies on Patreon when they were pipping why we used sphagnum moss, and part of the reason is because well we ran out of perlite, <laughs> so we put them on sphagnum moss and with the intention of moving them to perlite after we bought more. But then we're like, well. We've never incubated on, in sphagnum moss before, so let's give it a shot. And they hatched. So how many eggs were there? There were four total. Oh, okay. This uh, one of them went bad, but three of four hatched. Yeah. So where are there's the babies? Oh, she one little baby. Head oh, right there's there. there's a little face. Oh. Hi, can you come here? Oh my goodness, look at that lavender. You yeah. are a. You keep your hands there. I will find the other ones and just put them in your hands. Okay, okay, I'll hold oh, one. I found another one. Oh, this one's not a, not happy with you. Oh, oh, we've got the long tongue oh, flicks. Oh, the long tongue flicks. Oh, we're so Puck. angry. Puck. Look at those cheeks. Yeah, I got a brother or a sibling for you. Here's a sibling, okay. Wow, look at that pattern. That's yeah. that like split spot pattern that I really like. Oh That's my gosh, cool. I'm gonna pull cool. this aside so I can just dig. Okay, find baby number three. I know they're just at the bottom. Oh yeah, they just dug. Oh, yep. Last one is on this side. Okay. Come here, cutie. This one is still not happy with you. <laughs> Don't like you. Wow, this one's teeny. Oh my gosh, you are teeny. You are adorably small. Oh my goodness, you're so little. Oh, and we have three different like versions of conda here. We have the typical conda here. We have the split spot pattern or There's jaguar. The conda right here. Yeah, the one that just abandons ship right there. And this is the kind of like the striped conda pattern. Wow, look at that variation. Color wise, I think this is the best color of lavender. Yeah, they all look normal on camera, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, okay, should we get a normal to compare them? Uh, yeah, I'll go grab one. All right, we're back. Yes, here There's are the lavenders. The lavenders. And a big chunky sibling of theirs that's yes. normal. This is from the first clutch from Lily, just to show you the color difference. And the size difference, yeah, I guess. And the size difference of just like a, a month does. Uh, yeah, this is about a month difference. This one is uh, like all of the babies from the first clutch were eating really well, so they're growing really fast. But look at that size difference of just a month and the color difference so that you can hopefully see lavender. Yeah. It, it looks like just a reduced. Like a lighter color a normal. Lighter, it's, it, you don't see any of the purples, unfortunately. How about the bellies? Can we tell with the bellies? Oh, maybe. I always want to show. Okay, I'll line them up here. And so that you can maybe see the belly difference or the purple belly. Belly shot. Oh, they sandwiched them. Belly shot. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it. Could you kind of yeah. see it there? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, perfect. Hopefully you can. There we oh, go. Of course, now. Belly shot. Yeah, that's definitely purple. Yeah, okay, cool. So there we go. Thank you for being our model normal, right, I wanna, dude. I want to know something. Since it's about, I think he's got three meals in him. This guy? Three meals? Yeah. Okay. I think I he has more than that. I think he has about six now. Oh, okay, maybe six then. Let's see. Let's see how much he weighs. All right, this baby with like six meals in him and about a month old is... Six, eight grams, okay, all right. Do you remember what weighs eight grams? I don't remember change-wise what weighs right. eight grams. Uh, oh, about a nickel. Oh, okay. Oh, no, never uh, mind. Why did it jump from seven to four? Oh, <laughs> my gosh. How many cents worth? Oh, eight, 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 eight. Stop, okay. okay, so if, uh, 16 cents. This baby weighs 16 cents. Perfect. I'm sure that'll make sense yeah, in some somebody, people's minds. Somebody can pull these out and, you know. Right, yeah. right. And then a baby that is freshly hatched here weighs, oh, look at that lavender, four, four grams. grams. Wow, you're twice the weight. Oh Which is a nickel. Which is, is that a nickel? I think so. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yep, four grams. So you weigh five cents and you weigh 16 cents. There look we go. at that. So. It turns out that hog noses grow around 11 cents a month. Yeah. If anybody ever wanted to know, a 50 cent piece, or 50p Australian, is really heavy. It's like 15 grams. Wow, that's yeah. like, wow, all right. We'll have to find a snake that weighs that much. Yeah. So there you go. Hognose snakes weigh, or they grow at a rate of 11 cents a month. That's our, our takeaway from I this wish video. It only cost 11 cents a month. <laughs> if only. All right, this baby bin is actually already set up, so, because we figure you've seen that a bunch of times already. So there's lavender number one, lavender number two, and where'd you go? There you are. Lavender number. Oh, wait, are we keeping any of these? Um, are they boys or girls? Hang on, yeah, hang on. Girls. This one is. A boy, I think. Well, oh, that's yeah, a tough one. You boy. think? I think so. Yeah, okay. That's a super long tail. Yeah, it's a tough one, but yeah, I would say boy too. All right, this one, this really pretty spot patterned lavender is a boy. I think a boy. Yep. Okay, so we don't need those two. Then we have this one, the sassy one. You are. Oh, you're a girl. Yep, that's, that's a, girl. a short tail. We've already kept back five lavender condos, though. Do we need another? 
Yes. Okay, we'll keep this one too. Sweet, we're keeping another lavender conda. Perfect, then I think we're all set to put them with uh, all their older siblings. Perfect. Okay, there are three in here and you hatched on 826, and there's our feeding chart ready to go. Perfect. So the plan for these three babies is we're gonna keep them together because they definitely eat better when they're kept in groups. Like even three plus, they eat so much better than if they're kept singly. So we're gonna keep them together. And once they've taken enough meals, we will sell the two males to people on our waiting list, and then we'll keep that female for Perfect. ourselves. There we go. Okay. And here is Dad, Shane Co. Hi, buddy. You were going to do Mom, but we've, you've seen Lily a lot. You don't see Shane Co. very often. Yeah. Shane Co., you made some pretty babies. Your girlfriend had a second clutch of babies, yeah. too. And You didn't even have to do anything for that. Yeah, you got... Well, he probably wouldn't have minded yeah, doing true. that. But still, we have three more beautiful lavender conda babies for 2022. Cool. You can really see his, like, purple tongue. Can you really? Yeah. Purple tongue? Can we see it? Look at your purple tongue and his purple eyes. Do you have a purple belly too? Oh wow, you are such a pretty lavender. <laughs> yes, you are. All right, so that was an unexpected clutch. Really fun experimenting and we learned that we can incubate on, excuse me. We learned that we can incubate on sphagnum moss. Yep. And that was our first clutch to fully incubate in our new incubator. That was an expensive clutch of eggs to experiment with, wasn't it? Yes. We should have chosen like bull snakes to put in there at first, yeah. but it just so happened that the clutch that was laid when the incubator was finished was lavender hognose eggs. So why not test it out with those? Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited for more lavender babies. This has been an amazing year for them so far. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your very generous support, and we'll see you all next time. Good job, Shane Co. Keep it up next year.